So there are these novelty dancing cat speakers called party animals that you can buy online for around $20. They sound horrible and you have to plug in your own audio source using a cable. But if you've ever seen them, you know that the dance they do is hilarious. And the dirtier the music you put on, the funnier it gets. So I thought about how I could make this thing better or at least make it easier to show off when people come over. So my big idea was, what if I reverse it? What if instead of plugging in music and having it come out of the awful cat speaker, what if the music was built into the cat and came out to your stereo or a better built-in speaker? So that's what I'm doing here. I'm wiring in an Adafruit audio effects board and you can find a complete guide on how to do this yourself by following the link in the description. The board costs more than the cat, so it's kind of ridiculous, but I like it because it's easy to wire in to the existing batteries used by the cat. So there's no extra power to worry about or thing to recharge. Also, there's no code involved. You just load up music from your computer like it's a USB drive. Basically, the board is wired to take power from the cat and play music into the cat's original sound chip here, which triggers the dancing, the most important part. I also rewired the button on the cat's paw so that squeezing the paw will start the music. Now for the music, like I said, it's funniest to me when the cute cat dances to dirty music. So I tried a bunch of different stuff and decided the whole experience really gelled with Oakland rap legend Too Short. Of course, you can load up your cat with whatever feels right to you. If you like this project, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Maker Project Lab channel, share it with somebody you know who likes cats or too short, and leave me a comment. And also check out the Instructable, where I'll show you step-by-step step how to make one for yourself. Yeah.